All right, here is the Razer Hanwell Chroma All-in-One Liquid Cooler ARG Pump Cap. <laughs> it's a weird name. <laughs> but basically the Razer Hanwell Chroma. And they sell this in both a 240 and 360, I think. So there's two 120 mils. Mine is the 2120 with the cap. And as you can tell right here, I'm blurring it out because that's my address label. This is how they sent it to me, which is ridiculous. And I actually originally ordered the larger version with three fans. And then I ordered the one with two fans. They both came mailed separately, of course, and both came with a label stamped on it. I bought a whole host of Razer supplies, some from Amazon, some from Razer. And this is the only thing that came mailed directly in its own package, which I found very odd. Even the uh, Razer Tomahawk desktop was sent in a brown box. You also don't see this big great brain package on your doorstep. That part's annoying. Anyhow, here you can see what's gonna be in the box. It should be just the radiator, all in one pump, and then two fans. So let's uh, take a look at what's inside the box. Uh, on that note, this is just gonna be an unboxing. I'm gonna make a longer video for my main channel, 5 or 12. But for here, I didn't see very many videos on this and I was trying to see about it <laughs> when I was ordering these products. And so this is just gonna be a straight up unboxing. It'll be a while before I get the desktop built and all the videos filmed. But so we'll do a full video that shows Synapse and all that. But for now, we're just gonna see what's literally inside the box. All right, very different. Every Razer product has a different kind of packaging a little bit. Here it tells you everything that's inside the box. That's pretty neat. That's the only one I've seen that has this. All right, so this does have a large uh, booklet, the Razer Handbow, of course. And then, oh, very nice color. Oh, it's very nice packaging. And then the uh, Razer stickers, of course, and very well packaged. Really top shelf packaging here. So here is the cooler itself. Here we have the cables. Another thing I worried about, they are all black braided cables for the fans. It's very nice over here. Oh, the different brackets to mount to your motherboard. I guess in case, I don't know if the motherboard normally comes with these or not, but so as an AM4, I guess it's AMD and then Intel 700. I'm gonna be using this with the Intel Core i7 13700KF, which is, you know, LGA 1700, which is what, you know, this guy here is. They're very nicely bagged up and labeled, you know, Razer is on the pricey side, but at least so far, and again, this is my first desktop building experience, so it's hard to say, but they, everything so far does seem to be, you know, quality components are at least packaged well, and it, oh, it says Razer right there on the side of the, that's the radiator itself. And in here is another thing I wondered about, are these just gonna be two normal fans? And I assume it is. Yeah, so they are just the Razer Kunai fans on the 120 mils. These were made on February 21st, 2022. It was currently February 4th, 2023. So these have been in the box for a while. But I also purchased, you know, as I mentioned, a lot of Razer components. So I bought both the single pack of Razer Kunai fans and the triple pack. And they were essentially all the same fan in the box. You know, this is the one that came there. So you, it's quite literally the exact same fan. This one actually was made on October 30th, 2021. So this one's very old. So maybe they're not very, very good sellers. I don't know. I'll list the prices. I don't remember what I paid off the top of my head. I just remember nothing really being too crazy as much as people complain about the Razer tax on things, except the power supply. The power supply was bonkers more expensive. And, you know, obviously you can buy a lot cheaper components, but I wanted everything to be Chroma RGB and I wanted to just have the, you know, the aesthetic of all Razer stuff. So, and again, I haven't powered them on yet, but I'm pretty sure there is Razer Chroma RGB here and here because you know obviously one way is intake one well, depending on how you want to mount the vans i was worried you wouldn't see the rgb on both sides but i'm pretty sure you can because it sure looks to me like that's the same ring that's here so the rgb should show on both sides this is interesting this is a slightly different box the other fans came in like a brown cardboard box and this is a thinner slimmer case anyhow let's take a look at the main event here Ooh. So here is the radiator itself. It says razor on the side, of course. Pretty regular radiator stuff here. And then here is the cooling pump. On this side, it will just light up for razor there. So there is a USB port on this guy and it has the Intel version already attached. This little ring for the Intel ones already attached and obviously the goo professional name goo is already attached and there are holes in here to screw into both sides right so i am going to put this up top and then you can screw into the top from here as well so this shouldn't be a terrible installation actually i was kind of worried about this i thought this would be the worst but i don't think it'll be terrible interesting side note razor's own manual has this shown like you know all the youtubers had a big war a while back about which way this should go. And everyone kind of agrees these shouldn't be on the bottom. And in Razer's documentation, it has it like that. But on their video Razer support website, it says, don't do that. So either way, I'm gonna have it up top so it won't make a difference. So yeah, not a great unboxing look, but you know, here's a basic idea of it.